Hey guys, this is Joy back again with another video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in, you all. This is going to be another quick video, everybody. So basically, I wanted to talk about the feelings um, you might feel unworthy um, after the narcissist left you. And I just wanted to talk about some of the reasons why. Um, you know, one of the reasons why is because you know that you were abused. Um, you stayed in an abusive relationship unknowingly subconsciously um you know and that is hurtful two maybe you had low self-esteem you didn't think anybody else would like you you didn't think anybody else would want you the narcissist may have told you that and you might have believed it um another reason is that you didn't think that you deserved any better perhaps you just felt like this is it this is you know i love him you think he might love you maybe your um, concept of love might have been distorted a little bit. Um, this is not a passion video. This is just maybe helping some of you all to understand why you might have that feeling of unworthiness. And I actually had that feeling too. Um, I didn't think that I deserved anything better. I was just like, oh, well, this is it. I love this person. They love me back. Maybe they just upset. Maybe they have bad relationships. Um, I want to change them. I want to make them better. Um, and that's another topic too. Don't think you can change anybody, you guys. This people are set in their ways. Unless you see the effort put forth, they're not going to change. And that's something too that I'm dealing with myself. Um, and that that goes back to that video I talked about not feeling responsible for others. If a person wants to change, they're going to change. It's not your responsibility. It's not your responsibility to change for them or to encourage them to change they gotta want it it has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with them okay um i'm sorry about that you guys so um yeah that feeling of unworthiness um another reason is because and you guys can chime in into what you think another reason would be why you feel unworthy after the narcissist relationship ends um, you know, you maybe you feel like you did everything that you could do. Um, you was nice to them, you were kind, you treated them like a king, you know, you put them first, um, you know, you did everything for them and they just left you for someone else, you know, so you feel unworthy, you feel like, wow, I'm not good enough, like, no, maybe I'm ugly or nobody is gonna want me, you know, because I was with him and I gave him my everything, so what if the next person does that to me too, you know? I'm sorry about that, you guys. I'm just hearing things in the back. But, um, yeah, and also, you guys, make sure that you are liked. Um, you like this video. You share it. You subscribe to my channel. It's all about, um, you know, inspiring and motivating you guys to live your best life. And I want to help as many people as I can grow, um, evolve, and change for the better. Um, it's, like, my whole channel is about positivity it's all about growth it's all about change it's all about being your best version of yourself um you know and that's why i said that mastermind class is going to be coming out where we're going to be accelerating our healing process after the narcissistic abuse um so yeah those are the reasons of why um you might be feeling unworthy after you leave a narcissist um, and don't let it get you down, you guys. Understand that it is, it is a healing process. It's not going to be overnight. Trust and believe. Um, you can get through it. I want to help you all. Um, that's why I'm here making these videos. Um, you know, and I'm trying to think, is there any other reasons why you might be feeling unworthy? Maybe you put your trust in them. You believed everything that they said. You wanted to, you wanted to believe it was true, but it just wasn't. Maybe you feel unworthy because you disappointed yourself, you feel down, you feel hurt, you know, you saying like, how could I have been so stupid? How could I have not believed every word they said? How could I have not known that they was dealing with someone else? You know, how could I have had a kid with them? Or how could I have, you know, and the thing about it, you guys, is always, everything happens for a reason. So don't be so hard on yourself. Understand it's a lesson that you had to learn. Um, you're going to grow from it. Try not to let it change you because I know sometimes when uh, after a narcissist relationship ends, you can let it change you as a person and you can become like the narcissist. That's how a lot of people do. But take the higher road. Um, let it make you better, not bitter. Um, let it 
help you to know what it is that you want in a relationship and what you don't want and know your worth know what you deserve know what you won't accept anymore and get some coaching <laughs> and um heal take your time don't rush it don't be so quick to date other people because you're gonna have baggage um and that's actually another topic is dealing with people that have baggage and how to get over your baggage or how to release your baggage um so yeah you guys thank you for tuning into this video it was another quick one all right i'll see you guys bye now and don't feel unworthy you deserve the best you deserve good love you are lovable i love you and i'll see you guys bye now